Dr. Dennis Beer is here now, the Atwater Award recipient and also a lecturer giving a really important topic on nutrition. Can you give us a little hint or overview of what you'll be talking about? Okay, so what I plan to talk about are uh, issues in nutrition science, collection of data, and issues in reporting, the transparency of reporting nutrition science. And these uh, topics come from my experience as the editor of the American Journal of Clinical Nutrition. And what do you see are some of the biggest challenges that may be impeding the advancement of better nutrition in our country? Right. Well, no, I guess it isn't a separate topic. I mean, I, we base nutrition policy and regulations on human studies primarily, uh, and those human studies depend upon a certain kinds of measurements that are not terribly good, frankly. Uh, one is the various ways of measuring food intake, that is, finding out what people eat. And there are assorted ways of doing this, and none of them are terribly good, frankly. And the data that come out have a wide a wide range of uncertainty and even inaccuracy. So how do we level that or standardize it? Do you have well, We have to find new methods. I mean we're you know we need we need to find new ways of measuring intake that are independent of the human being. So if, if a human being is involved in anything it's biased and you know and faulted from the start. And uh, we do have some methods, for example, we have independent methods of measuring energy expenditure with doubly labeled water. We have urinary, 24-hour urinary sodium, 24-hour urinary potassium, uh, urinary iodine measurements, things of this sort. And those need to be applied more. And in addition, we have to discover and apply new methods for measuring different kinds of intake. We certainly have some good advice in there, however, they are human researchers and they are human subjects. So what would be your takeaway message to people here about really trying to make some, some meaningful changes and improvements in the way that they look at their data and interpret their data and report their data? They need to be more honest about the uncertainty. Many of these data are reported as certain. Uh, and we know this and in fact, we may know it, or we may know it in a very rough sense, or uh, we may not uh, want to discuss what the uncertainty does with regard to our firm recommendations about something. And I think this, there needs to be more honesty in the uncertainty of the information. There also needs to be more honesty in the fact that much of nutrition data is our observational data which show associations but do not prove causality, and they are frequently sold, at least imply causality, because what's the point of doing them if you don't think this, those relationships have a causal basis? So they're frequently sold that way, and they're not studies of causality. And those, you know, uh, that has to be recognized, okay? And uh, in addition, there are many, you know, nutrition papers that are written in which the full transparency of what was done, how the data were analyzed, uh, what was done beforehand, and then what was, you know, sort of dredged out uh, after the fact, uh, all of those things influence how firm you can believe, how confident you can believe in a conclusion, and those have to get better. Well, beginning the discussion is moving toward improvement, certainly, so thank you so much. Great. Okay, thank you.